doing this week guys welcome to RSA Exotics and um, this week we're doing a little bit of a collection tour um, now disclaimer this is only the reptiles in my collection I'm not doing the tarantulas or mantises this week um, I'm just running through what reptiles are here now Stephen leave leave um, the chameleon alone so we have Stephen in here at the moment and we have I don't know if we can see her here but we have Kiwi who, as you can see from her puffiness and her dark colours, is both pissed off at the cat looking at her and all grumpy. But as you can see from the fact that she's sitting out here, I took her out of her enclosure for this. Um, she is back to pretty much full health. Um, she could do with putting on a little bit more weight, but she's able to climb around properly now and throw shades of colour and hiss at me. And she's behaving much more like a proper comedian now. But... Uh, I'm going to pop her back in our enclosure because she doesn't actually live in this room. And we'll get down to showing you what reptiles are in the room here. See you in a sec. Bye. Now she's away. Um, we're going to run through what's behind me. And uh, one or two things from the old collection are not here with me because they actually went to Scott. And uh, that would be the ball pythons. So I no longer have ball pythons in my collection because uh, they went to live with Scott. As he, I've moved away, away from him now and I felt it was fair for him to have some of the reptiles that he kind of had me collect. So uh, he kept it all pythons and uh, the rest of the stuff's in my collection. But uh, we'll run through what's what's here now. So I'm uh, going to show you. And there's also two new reptiles that weren't in the collection before we moved. So yeah, we'll introduce you to them as well. So, get down to it now. We're going to start from the far left here. And we have up top here on the left, in this left unit here, we have Tobin's Leopard Gecko. And I custom built her, her in a, a new enclosure as well for this new house. And that's a real live plant. Um, not sure where she is now at the moment. Um, I think she's in her humid hide, which is that side. So both of the the two hides, that one on the left here is a humid hide, and the one on the right is a dry hide. And she has the coconut as well. And she likes to go up on that shelf sometimes. And the water bowl over there to try and try and weigh the lid of that one down and. So she has a water bowl, and we have a food bowl built in in the back. But uh, I don't think she's going to come out, because she generally doesn't come out when the light is on. But um, we're going to move down now, and this is one of the, fir the, first, uh, the first of the two new reptiles. We have here, we have Morty, who has pooped all over his enclosure today. So um, he is a painted dragon. Um, it's not a bearded dragon is a painted dragon, so slightly different. He's only a little baby at the moment, and he's missing the tip of his tail, and I'm pretty sure it's probably a her, but uh, I'm sticking with the name Morty for the moment. Um, so these guys are very similar to bearded dragons, and just slightly more interesting colours. These colours get brighter as she gets a bit older. He, she, gets a bit older. He's, uh, he's not amazing with handling yet. Generally runs away if I put my hand near. But it's getting better. The two the two new reptiles that, came, that are part of the collection are a little bit skittish like that. But these guys need a similar setup to Bearded Dragons. So dry desert sort of setup, you know. Um, they are uh, insectivores only though. Unlike Bearded Dragons. So these guys are only going to eat bugs. But um, yeah, so that's reptile number two that's living down here. So I'll close this. And we'll move on up, and this is the second of my new reptiles, and this is my baby. He is a complete asshole, but he is my baby. This is Alucard, the um, black Mexican spiny tail iguana, and he is awesome. Uh, these guys are actually in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the fastest lizard on the planet. So yeah, these guys are really, 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 really fast. So Alucard, um, he eats both fruit and veg and some bugs, so uh, he's a bit of a varied diet. Uh, this is in his enclosure here. It's pretty nice. But again, he's not really a handler yet. Um, cat scratching at the door to come in, of course, as, as most of my videos, cats meowing in the background or giving out in some fashion but uh, down below we have AJ still AJ is still in the collection he'll never be going anywhere so we all know AJ happy 
little miniature bearded dragon. <laughs> so no, no need to show him too much. But uh, AJ is still part of the collection. Um, and that's yeah. Uh, okay, so we've Kiwi, we've Kiwi, um, Tobins, Marty, Alucard, AJ. Then over here we have Peaches, my milk snake, who's in her water bottle. You can see there. And then this is Cola's enclosure up here, who is the African house snake and probably won't be able to see because he's in the boat at the moment. He's inside that boat and he's just shed as well as you can see. Then down here, um, he's not out at the moment, but down here below in this big enclosure down here is Wade, the boa constrictor. So he's in there somewhere. Could be in his water bowl, but I'm pretty sure he's down there. Um, and then over here, we have Noah Constrictor, who is climbing around up the back here. We have Noah Constrictor. And then below that, we just have the stick insects. So, let's see if I can focus on one. There's a few on the side there. But, uh, so, most of the reptiles are all amalgamated down here. So, I hope you enjoyed getting to see the little bit of the collection there this week. And uh, next week, I'm going to run through what tarantulas and mantises we still have in the collection. And possibly, depending how long that takes to get through, <laughs> might feed one or two of them. And then we'll do some feeding videos after that. And then we'll hopefully do some educational videos and videos to start running as normal again guys uh, I am probably going to do some fishing videos because at the moment um, where I've moved uh, in Belt Harbour is an amazing fishing spot I've been having great luck here since I've moved here I have finally started catching uh, catching fish on the fly which is really fun I actually there just today caught four trout on the fly rod so uh, hopefully I will do a video out fishing here soon and I'm no expert with the fly fishing at all at all but um, hopefully we'll do a video of me fly fishing and just in case nobody is aware again this new house I now live with Daffy from Irish Wilds so um, check out his channel and subscribe, subscribe to him he does outdoor adventure and fishing and stuff like that if you haven't seen him before but uh, give him a, sh a subscribe and a, a, shout out, a shout out that uh, came from me so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this week and we'll see you again next week Bye.